Well. All right. WineMall.com pick of the month from WineMall TV. Similar cab out of Malibu, California. Similar is a small family-owned winery. It's half owned by the people who own Patron, Patron Tequila. Uh, this is their new venture. Uh, their last name is Similar, but like I was saying earlier, it's from the highest appellation in California, the Malibu AVA, 2,000 feet. Uh, it is also the sister winery of Saddle Rock. Saddle Rock is also a, a family-owned winery, and if you look at the, the Malibu Mountains, there's a huge rock that looks like the horse's saddle. That's where it gets its name from. Uh, the best way to describe this wine is approachable. A lot of people don't like to have Cabernets that are huge and big and tannic, and you know, they dry your mouth out and make you taste like you're, you're, you're drinking sawdust. Salibu, or similar doesn't do that. Malibu, California wines have a tendency to be light and fruity. And you can tell, first off, as we pour it, you can tell by its color. Not quite as deep or as dark as a lot of other Cabernets out of California. And you give it a good swirl just by looking. It's got that nice, light, ruby color, kind of garnet, a little brown around the edges, as you can see here. All right, not big, not full. You give it a smell. And always remember when you're smelling wine to make sure you open your mouth and let the air flow through. That way you can get it on your taste buds as well. Ah, first thing you get off of it, nice bright cherry, maybe some deep, deep uh, blueberry fruits. A little dark fruit underneath, but on the top you get that bright cherry. Maybe a little bit of mint, a little eucalyptus, things like that. Mm, very nice. Maybe just a hint of spice too. But the soils out of Malibu, California are nice and rocky. And when you have rocky soil for growing wine, or growing grapes, what happens is, is the roots dig down very, very deep because the moisture level on top isn't that good. So it sucks up all that moisture from the deep, deep layer, strata, whatever you want to call it. And then what happens is it gets that nice bright cherry fruit because it forces the grapes to grow hard. So, I'm going to take a taste. Go for that. Mm. Mm, there you go. Bright cherry fruit, really layered. A lot of people don't understand what layered means when you talk about wine. If you take a sip of wine, let it rotate through your palate. And of course, you know, when you try wine like that, you saw how I was chewing on it, rinsing it out, mouth to mouth, whatever. You spit it out. You taste all your, all your receptors in your mouth. Layered means that it sits there and builds in your mouth. If you can rub your tongue against the roof of your mouth and still taste the wine, it has layers to it. Simple, easy, nothing tough, really good. But on this one, like I said, bright cherry fruit, little mint, not very tannic, not very dry, really good with game year meats like bison, lamb, duck, things like that. Really good. That's about all I have to say about that. That's the one.